As India enters into the day 19th of the lockdown, the number of COVID-19 cases have reached the 8,000 mark. The highly infectious novel coronavirus has infected 8,356 people in India, killed 273. 909 new cases were reported in the last 24 hours, while 34 people died. The World Bank on Sunday said that the coronavirus outbreak has severely disrupted the Indian economy, magnifying pre-existing risks to its outlook. In its South Asia economic update, the impact of COVID-19, the World Bank estimated the Indian economy to decelerate to 5% in 2020 and projected a sharp growth deceleration in fiscal 2021 to 2.8% in a baseline scenario. Prime Minister Nain Modi held a four-hour meet with at least 13 chief ministers on video conference on Saturday has indicated that the lockdown amid the COVID-19 pandemic would be extended by two weeks after considering the request of the chief ministers who preferred a longer containment period. A shelter home at Delhi's Kashmiri Gate was set on fire on Saturday allegedly by migrant workers who lived there a day after they had a fight with the staff over food. The fire was later doused. According to the police, the workers were beaten up by the staff on Friday after which four of them jumped into the river Yamuna, one of them drowned. The angry workers were demanding action against the staff over the death of the migrant. They turned violent and threw stones at the police and later set the shelter on fire. The consignment of hydroxychloroquine from India has arrived in the US days after New Delhi lifted a ban on export of anti malarian drug seen as a possible cure for COVID-19 to America and some other countries on humanitarian grounds. Earlier this week, India, at the request of President Donald Trump, cleared the export of 35.82 lakh tablets of hydroxychloroquine to the US along with 9 metric tons of active pharmaceutical ingredient or API required in the manufacturing of the drug. United States passed the grim milestone of 20,000 coronavirus deaths Saturday with the number of confirmed cases soaring past 5 lakhs, the highest in the entire world. The outbreak has now claimed the lives of at least 20,506 people in US.